Good morning. Welcome back to your daily tarot with a little bit of astrology uh, for the day. This one's October 20th, Friday, of course, at 4 a.m. So first thing in the morning, we have the moon coming in at 5 degrees Capricorn. And you can see there are three squares coming from the Sun, Mercury, and the South Node up to Pluto, or actually both, uh, both ends. Doesn't matter if it's the North Node or the South Node, they're both squaring Pluto. And Eris is involved, also the Sun and Mercury. So there's a lot of trying to work things out. There are a lot of adjustments that need to be made if we can focus in on the greater good of the whole with the uh, aspects going over to Neptune. But most of all, for today, because everything else is, you know, in the weekly readings, if you want to go there and get all the details. But with that moon in Capricorn at those early degrees, I, I think something's probably just coming together. We're in, in a bit of a, a phase of bringing things into form somehow. You know, Capricorn's all about goals and uh, plans and shaping, like opportunities to shape and bring things together and structure, uh, willingness, willingness to work and get it done. So yeah, and then with that aspect of the architect there, oh yeah, and the cards, okay, I'll show you those real quick, but <laughs> with this aspect of the architect here coming from the moon to Jupiter, the moon trining Jupiter, and all day long it will be in this trine, to Jupiter in Taurus. So this is double, uh, actually, what am I saying here? Look at this. We have uh, a grand Earth trine right here from Venus to the Moon to Jupiter. So it's all about what we want most and how hard we're willing to work for it. And then with Saturn in Pisces with that bigger vision of creating some spiritually source structure uh, in our lives, uh, there's so much opportunity flowing through there. That's great. Wow. Looks like a good time for Libras as well. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Cups upright. Page of Swords is upright too, in case you're not looking and you're just listening. So the Page of Swords can bring through those new plans. There's some enthusiasm. There's some new ideas. Uh, there could be some good news. Uh, pages are definitely, you know, related to, to news. But when it comes to the swords, it could have us being, and especially with Sun conjunct Mercury, and especially in Libra, could have us kind of curious, wanting to know more. I, there's a lot of energy. It could be, you know, like witty kind of conversations back and forth, but definitely a lot of talking. When it comes to the Ten of Pentacles reversed, we're probably talking a lot about uh, any issues with our families, uh, any disputes when it comes to family issues, like maybe someone's died and there's an inheritance that's coming through, but people are talking about, you know, how how's this all going to work out, things like that. Um, there could be some curiosity about things that haven't worked in the past when it comes to any type of, you know, money situation. Uh, because most of all, Ten of Pentacles has everything to do with creating your own business empire, your own legacy, or your own stable wealth that you can rely upon. It's my, you know, one of my cards for in the Pentacles for major sustainability. So yeah, and you can see it's ruled by Mercury and Virgo. You can see the little glyphs here. They're kind of sideways, though, uh, because the card's reversed. <laughs> so Mercury and Virgo is, and we have Venus and Virgo right now. So this is all about, you know, talking about the details and gathering facts and tracking patterns and discernment, making those distinctions that uh, can create divine order in your life. So these cards actually aren't bad because this Ten of Pentacles reversed, I get the feeling with the combination here, 
that there's a brand new opportunity that comes out of what you might think were failures or mistakes in the past, but for some reason it was supposed to be that way so that the lessons could be learned. And because we're all human. And if it is if it is related to uh, any family members or a family member, uh, people do make mistakes. You know, like I said, we're, we are human and we are... Uh, you know, we all we all make mistakes. That's just part of being human, and we're not supposed to uh, worry so much about that. But there's correction coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles. There is uh, new possibilities for manifesting whatever you want. It's a card of brand new beginnings in the, all the physical realms, or in the physical realm, all the ways of manifesting in physical, uh, you know, three D reality. So, I like it. I think these are great together. <laughs> it looks to me, though, like there might be a lot of analyzing going on here. And maybe the Page of Swords, we can take it as a um, just, you know, the uh, visual, as hitting something out of the park, rising above the, the old ways of uh, the, what family brought through in terms of well, this is how you handle it, this is what you do, it's always about the money, and there's nothing, there's, there's nothing uh, really coming from or coming from at all. Uh, what about, you know, spiritually sourced, what about running your finances uh, according to spiritual law, which means you don't come from lack, but then you also, you know, you still keep the books balanced, you do everything, but you're always thinking about the greater good of the whole rather than hoarding, rather than uh, investing in stocks that don't help the earth and actually hurt the earth, uh, investing in, you know, just putting money into a mutual account and letting somebody else do your investing for you, and there's no consciousness going into uh, that, right? So there could be something like that where you're rising above the limitations of the past with the family, um, you know, the way things were, and then you pick up and think, and oh, that's just the way it is. Not anymore. Now there's something new coming through. I'm, I'm liking looking over here and rising above this old way. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's all I have. <laughs> Take good care. Bye.